Welcome back to the Smash With That Show. Welcome new subscribers, I'm Ashley, and today we will be making some yummy Kung Pao chicken with some rice and a pineapple boat. It is about to be so good, so stay tuned. But before we get started, you know I have a word today, and the word is... Proverbs 19, verse 27 says, Stop listening to instruction, my son and you will stray away from the words of knowledge. Meaning when you stop listening to instruction by not reading the word and applying God's ways of living to your life, you will start to trail off and be led astray by the things of this world. Walking with God is a daily walk because you're denying your fleshly desires every day and you're staying in tune with the spirit and actually applying the words of his ways of living to your daily life. And it's very easy to slip up and go back to the things of this world when we are slacking in our relationship with God and not meditating on the knowledge that he gives us. So always be on guard with your life being spiritually led instead of fleshly led and fight the good fight listening to God's instructions so that you don't get led astray with the words of wisdom that God gives you. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started on our Kung Pao chicken. So stay tuned. So now we're gonna start with our prep and I went ahead and started with the pineapple boat and once I cut it in half, I went along the middle on both sides and cut the core. Then I cut horizontally across and made pineapple chunks, rectangle pineapple chunks out of it. And then I cut along the sides and then just kind of loosened up the pineapple so I could scoop it out right after. Just make sure when you are cutting through the pineapple, don't cut all the way through because then you'll poke a hole at the bottom. And I did that with the first one, so I had to restart and make it like this. <laughs> then you're going to slice your green pepper into little bite-sized square pieces like this, along with the red pepper as well. Then you're gonna mince your garlic. I minced like eight cloves. Then you're gonna Peel your ginger and use like two tablespoons of minced ginger. Then you're going to make one inch thick green onions. Slice those up. Then slice one yellow onion into one inch thick pieces as well. Next I use four chicken thighs. You can use chicken breast if you want, but I like dark meat. And I trim the fat off and then I cut it into square sized pieces and it looks just like this. Then you're gonna marinate your chicken with one tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of sauteing cooking wine, and some dark soy sauce. Mix that and let it sit for 30 minutes and it'll be ready to go. Next, I used like a half a cup of chili red peppers and filled it up with hot water just to let them soak so they can soften up a little bit before I actually cook them in a wok. Then I used a fourth a cup of peanuts. Now to make the sauce, I used a half a cup of chicken stock, one tablespoon of cornstarch, two tablespoons of fish soy sauce, two tablespoons of light soy sauce, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of dark soy sauce, one tablespoon of shoshin cooking wine, and one tablespoon of sugar. In a wok on medium high heat, I did a mixture of olive oil and sesame oil, and then I sauteed my veggies, and I had to take a step back because I almost compound my face with that grease trying to make this compound chicken. And then I added my minced garlic with my ginger. Then once your red peppers have softened, you're gonna go ahead and add those and saute that with the rest of your veggies. Once your veggies are nice and sauteed, you're going to add your chicken to the wok on medium high heat, and you're gonna saute that until they look nice and golden brown, just like this. You're gonna add your veggies back to your chicken, and then you're gonna add your sauce, and allow the sauce to cook for like 10 to 15 minutes, just so the cornstarch will thicken up the sauce. Now we're gonna add the final touches, which is the green onions and the peanuts. And we're just gonna toss that around and look how colorful and gorgeous our Kung Pao chicken is looking. Oh my gosh. For the rice, you're going to cook as directed on the package and I just waited for the water to boil and threw my rice in there along with some olive oil so the rice doesn't stick. 
and then just allow it to cook until it's ready for 15 minutes. And voila, your rice is ready. Then I thought to myself, I might as well make a virgin pina colada out of the rest of my pineapple. So <laughs> I was craving one and I used a can of cream of coconut, crema de coco. And it has the recipe on the back of the can, so it'll show you exactly how to make the pina colada. So enjoy! I know that's a huge chunk of pineapple, but you know, it does the job. So we are about to try our kung pao chicken and have a little sip of our virgin pina colada. Mm. That is so good. So let's dig in. Mm. Mm. That sauce is so good with the fresh peppers and, and onions and the red chili peppers is amazing. You guys need to try this recipe out in this pineapple boat. <laughs> so thank you guys for smashing with Ash and let me know in the comments what to make next. And if you love hearing God's words of wisdom and smashing good food, then subscribe for more content and stay tuned for more videos because your girl will be back soon.